Hello. Throughout the pandemic, many people have turned to Zoom to keep in contact with family members and friends. But since moving to the United States, the webcam, as well as the occasional postcard and late night drunken message on Facebook, is the only way I've kept in contact with my family. With the exception of an all too brief visit to England last year, my family and I have had to make do with seeing really pixelated videos of each other's chins. Long story short, they caught me in the Mississippi in just my underpants. And while it's great that this kind of communication, which barely existed 20 years ago, is available, it doesn't allow us to touch, to shake hands, to hug, which being British is a blessing in disguise. Definitely, yes, no, and and Sophia, and Sophia, and Sophia. Yeah, let's let's start again from the top, right? And um, click the Zoom invitation in the email I sent you. Click the link. The URL, the, it's, it's blue. But when I think about the limitations of speaking to my British family from America, I then remember that I'm able to speak to my British family from America. That's amazing. I mean, put yourself in the shoes of the pilgrims who came to the United States in the early 17th century. And ooh, they've got their quills and little bit of paper. Arrived safely, William. Uh, might have caught scurvy. Sorry about that. Getting tested today. Missing you greatly. I'll be back. Never, lol. Send, and then they wait for a little bit. Oh, what's, oh, that's taking a while. 65 days. Good, right. Yeah, no, it does that. It's just a loading wheel. Don't worry about that. And, oh, there you are. You're in, you're in. You're actually in. Can you see me? You can see me. You can see me. I can't see you. Or, or hear you. I can hear you on the phone, but I can't hear you on Zoom. Did you select your camera? Funnily enough though, these days, Zoom is the primary method by which I communicate with my American friends and family. You know, America's so big, it's so spread out. I can't just cycle to Indianapolis, especially not on Indiana's roads. And in American terms, that distance is nothing. Heck, it's the equivalent of London to Paris, which I used to think was a really long way till I moved here. Exactly, click that button and then I, sh I should be able to see you somewhere. Oh, this, this is, is Crown Royal, just Apple Flip. What do you mean? It's Christmas. Look, you and Uncle Toby just need to give it a rest. I'm, I'm giving this up in the new year. But the point is, like myself, millions of Americans use their webcam to keep in touch with those closest to them, particularly those furthest away. This was true before the pandemic, during the pandemic, and after the pandemic, when we'll all be living in air raid shelters. Right, I can't see. It looks like you got kicked out of Zoom. This has nothing to do with the Russians, right? This, it's just a technical glitch. This happens to most humans who are using it. So consider this video a love letter to the modern webcam. Not only did it deliver unto YouTube my early rubbish videos, but without them, how would we as a people know the glory of a pixelated chin? Well, I am glad you were at least able to see me. I know I blend in with the wall. It was a bad choice of jumper. Yeah. All right, Aunt Sophia, I can't talk on the phone. I went well over time with Uncle Toby the other day, but I do need to talk to you. It's about Christmas Eve. Hello? Thank you for joining me for this latest Vlogmas episode. If you would like to catch up on all of the Vlogmas videos I put out thus far, go to my channel's homepage, and from there you can click on the Vlogmas 2020 playlist. To make sure you don't miss another video, be sure to subscribe at the end of this one, and be sure to jingle my bell. Finally, a humongous shout out to all of my patrons who've definitely seen me on my webcam during our secret live streams. If you would like to become a patron of Lost in the Pond, you can do so at patreon.com slash lostinthepond. Until tomorrow, goodbye.